Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell and welcome to our webinar, seven free Gmail plugins that will help you conquer your inbox. You know, I've always believed that really email is one of our most important tools for our business. But the key is to stay in control and to make sure that it doesn't eat away at those productivity minutes. Also, I believe that in order to get the most out of email, you need to go inside, be productive, make the best of your time while you're there. Now, Gmail is an interesting one for me. I've always been an Outlook user, but Gmail, as you know, is fast becoming one of the most popular email platforms that are out there. When I teach classes, people say, hey, you know, I'm using Gmail now. I always recommend to agents to use the paid Gmail platform. It gives you 24 by 7 support in case you ever need it if it runs your real estate business. Uh, certainly if it's just a standalone extra email uh, client for you, then not to worry. But if you're using Gmail for business and you're just using the plain vanilla, just kind of the out of the box Gmail without any third party extensions or tools, no plugins, so then I tell you, you are missing out on the full capability of Gmail. And really, if you're looking for it to improve your efficiency, your workflow, your professionalism, you're going to need some additional tools. And that's what this webinar is all about. Today, I'm going to give you seven free plugins that I believe puts Gmail on steroids. No kidding you. It's it's that, that they're that good. In fact, I think you're going to find that they're going to be indispensable tools for you as you manage your email. So what I want to do to kick this off is I really want to begin with uh, teaching you how to add an extension to your browser. So I'm going to recommend the Chrome browser it works very good, very much a key part of the Google ecosystem. If you've got you have already um, Gmail, then go ahead and, and use Chrome uh, with your Gmail. And when you do that, it's so easy to add these extensions that I'm going to teach you today. So let me show you how to do that. I'm in Gmail right now. And to add an extension, I'm going to go to the account menu at the very top of my browser. I'm going to go to more tools, and then I'm going to go to extensions and give that a click. Extensions are like apps and that they give you additional functionality, but in your browser, as opposed to say your smartphone. And as you can see, extensions are already selected and at the top, go all the way down and click on get more extensions. That's going to take us to the Chrome store, which is very much like the app store, the play store. But in this case, we can find extensions. And here's where you'll see search the store. So say as an example, I will give you a extension that I want you to add. Say uh, our first one would be follow up. then and then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and hit enter and the store will find the extension and this is the one we're talking about today but let me tell you how this extension works and why I think it's important I need to say that I'm not doing these in any particular order but follow-up then is one of those extensions that's just super easy and it's going to be a good way for us to kick this off because one of the things that people have problems with is really keeping their inbox clean. <laughs> so with that being a very important thing to do, so you're not overwhelmed by the sheer amount of volume, the sheer amount of email that you received, let me give you a quick way to clean your inbox. And that is receive an email, decide what to do with it, and follow up then will later give you a reminder and say, you know what, here I'm kicking this back to you to remind you to do something. Uh, for the most part, it's going to be an extension, a plugin that gives you a little bit of extra credibility. In other words, there are times you open an email and you have every intention of doing something with it, following up or doing whatever you need to do, and you just forget. And it gets lost in the sea of emails and spam, legitimate emails and spam. In addition, there are birthdays and special events that you put on your calendar, but you really need a little bit of a nudge. So what this extension will do is you will go to the website that's up on the screen, followupthen.com, and it will ensure you never miss a follow-up. You know, you've heard the expression in sports, it's all about the follow-through. Well, in the real estate business, it's all about the follow-up. 
So let's talk uh, about how we're going to do this. It's going to be very simple for you. As you can see, it gives you the details. It gives you a video on how to use it. But for the most part, you're going to go to your email. Let's go there now. And let's say there's something you want to remember. And I'm just going to click on Compose. And in the subject, I'll just say, OK, so let's say I have in the subject, remind clients Smith to send a contract. And this is something that I can actually send to my client. And I can also send to me. So my client's email will go in the two, as well as three days at followupthen.com. So basically, to start this out, you simply, and this could have been an email that I opened up that someone sent me. But what this is going to do is in three days, I will get this reminder. That's it. It is really that simple. You can also add recurring reminders. So as another example, you can actually say two every, let's say I'm going to forget my sweetheart on Valentine's Day. So I'm going to say 14 February, and then I can say at followupthen.com. You guys get the idea. It's just that easy. So it allows you to clean out your inbox and shorten your to-do list because you're getting things out of the way and you're not forgetting anything. You can also schedule an SMS message to go with the email, which is very cool. So give this a shot. And as with all of the plugins that I'm recommending today, please read the reviews in the Chrome store and also check out the website and make sure this is something that would enable you to have a easier time with email. Plugin number two. Here's a question. How would you like to track when your emails are open? And even better, when your attachments are open? Well, here's a tool you're looking at that will notify you the moment your email is open. And you can also track links in your emails. You can send reminders, you can send emails at optimal times, and even protect your privacy with self-destructing emails. This is called MX Hero mail to cloud and as you can see TechCrunch and Fast Company is giving this particular plugin glowing endorsements. This is such an important plugin that I actually want to give you a sense for some of the things that it does. Let's take a look. First of all, complete email tracking. So you can see read receipts when the email is open. We know you have that in Outlook if you're an old Outlook user like I am. There are email reminders, so you can't deal with an email right now. Well, don't worry. You can set an email to automatically reappear in your inbox after a certain amount of time. Kind of cool. Then here's some other features that I think are kind of fabulous. Reply timeout, so you'll be notified if a particular email doesn't get a response and which is great for keeping track of really important emails that require follow-up. And now I don't think there's a plugin that does this. This is the only one that I know, self-destruct. So you can send sensitive information with a lot of confidence knowing that this thing is going to self-destruct after a certain period of time. Also, you can schedule emails for delivery. Use the send later feature. I'll give you another one that's going to do that as well. But so many more features. This one is one you need to take a look at. You can type in MX Hero and you'll see this particular extension, which you can add to your Chrome browser. The next plugin is Todoist. And I will tell you, this is another great plugin that helps you manage your email in a way that helps you take action. A lot of people, I know I'm not the only one that really sees the benefit in integrating email and task management capabilities. And in Gmail, while you do have tasks, you have to go outside of email. It's like you're still in, in Gmail, but you've got to click on task. It would be nice to have tasks right there available to me when I'm in an email. In fact, can convert an email to a task. Well, this particular plugin allows you to do that. It's the answer to that. And what you can do, you can literally take your emails that, in my opinion, should result in a task of some sort. 
if you're going to keep it. Um, but it allows you to assign a deadline or a reminder to that email while you're inside of it. So it's again, it's another easy application. It's very beautiful, by the way, and it, you can use it on your tablet, your smartphone. And when you set up an account for free, then you can actually go and see all of your to do items. So as an example, you will have an inbox of today, next seven days, all these things you can have in this app. And it's always, no matter what's with you, the app will always be available on some kind of mobile device. So you have it. But while you're in Gmail, it sits down here. So let's say that I open up an email and I'm just going to pick on any one of these. iMore. And now what I can do is if I more this say this email reminds me of something I need to do. All I need to do is come down here and click to do list. And then I can add something to my to do list related to this email and just add the task and then it will stay in my inbox. So I'll always see it. I'll get out. But that just gives you a feel for what you can do with it. I'm going to open this email up. And now when I open it up, you'll notice that I have the ability to also add to to do list and it's right there inside of the email. So I can create and generate a task while I'm inside of the email. That's what I really like about this particular one. Very, very slick. So the way you're going to add to do is just go to the Chrome store. Type in Todoist and there you have it. Go ahead and add that to Chrome. On to the next one. Let's talk about professionalism and there is nothing like a professional email signature. I personally just did a video on using Fiverr for this, but if you'd like to save your pocket change, you can use Y stamp. And as long as you don't mind their branding at the very bottom, you can get a very nice HTML signature for free by downloading this extension. So let's take a look and see what we have. You can see this agent has provided his company name and also some pictures of some homes. So you can see it can really spice up things a bit with photos, websites, important updates, any kind of graphic icons for your social media. Let's take a look and see how this works and make sure that the signature is selected. This is ticked. Make sure there's no tick right here. Now the next thing you do is go to ystamp.com and go ahead and set up your claim your free signature now. Now let me show you what that's going to look like. Since mine is already done, you'll see this in your Gmail, but I'm going to go ahead and give mine a click and I'll hit edit my signature. So you'll see what it looks like when you create it. Okay, so at, on the left hand navigation, you can see there are signature details. So provide your name, company, title, phone, and if you like other information, make sure you include your website address. Okay, and now of course you can add another field here. But on the right hand side is where you can actually see what you've added on the left. So here's the picture. And this picture is something that you, let me go down a little bit, come down, there we go. This picture is something you would change right here. So if you want a certain image here, click the image here. Now let's talk about how we would get those icons at the very bottom. You would come here. and type facebook.com username. And that puts the F there and LinkedIn and Twitter. I'm just going to add Twitter. And then that adds the Twitter link and then save the changes. And now when I go to Gmail and I'm going to compose a message, 
my Y stamp signature is right here and I'm ready to type. Now on a free account, which is what you're looking at, it will say get a signature like this, click here. If you want to remove this branding, you'll need to upgrade and pay in order to do that. And when you upgrade to Pro, the cost is $4 per month. So it's up to you. Let's take a look at another one. The next plugin is pretty self-explanatory. It's Gmail Offline. You can actually go to the Chrome store. This particular plugin is still in beta, but at the end of the day, it's a very simple concept. You can create emails, even send them when you're offline. They won't go until you're connected to the internet, but this just gives you a sense for what it does. It is basically, uh, it will automatically synchronize messages and queued actions anytime Chrome is running and an internet connection is available. But while that connection is not available, you can still, it allows you to create mail, read it, respond to it, search it, and of course do other things that it lists down here. So take a look at Gmail offline. It may be helpful to you at some point. The next plugin we're going to take a look at is Scheduled Sending and Email Reminders, Boomerang for Gmail. Boomerang's been around for a while, and in fact, I get excited when I do extensions like this because I feel like it will stay, stay around. It's uh, pretty solid, and this one is very easy as well. It allows you to schedule an email to be sent later. You know, there are other plugins that do this. This is one of the first ones, though, that provided this functionality and a lot of Outlook users were looking for this particular feature when they switched over to Gmail and Boomerang gave them that ability. In addition, you can do other things with Boomerang. Not only can you schedule your emails to be sent at specific times, you can also send a follow-up reminder to yourself. You can also archive messages and you can return important emails to the top of your inbox when you have time to read them. I do want to showcase Boomerang. If you open up an email message and let's say that you want to reply to it, so I'll go ahead and hit reply. Now what happens is you can come down and you can see that with Boomerang now loaded in your browser, part of your Gmail, uh, system, you can send this reply later so you can respond and schedule the time in which you want to send this email. In addition, let's come down a little bit more. You can see that you can actually boomerang this email back to you in a certain number of days. So if there's no reply, I better have this kick back to me so then I can follow up maybe by phone call. But I want to be, be very clear. This is a feature that you know, could help you in more ways than one. Again, sometimes you can just look and see what features are on all of these plugins. And sometimes you don't need to download multiple plugins because the only feature you know you're going to use is this one or that one. But Boomerang's been around for a long time, like I said, and so it's very reliable. No one has any complaints with it. And I think you might find this, uh, this feature useful. So give it a try. And in addition to having an option to send later with Boomerang, you can also um, hover here and request a read receipt and track clicks. I am down to the last plugin that I want to show you, which is number seven. And to be honest with you, there was a tie for the last plugin. I couldn't determine whether or not it would be restricted streak or reportive and I'm just kind of like still torn. So I'm actually going to show you both and I'm just going to give you pretty much a description of what they do. With streak, it's the CRM in your inbox. A lot of people believe that a CRM needs to reside in your inbox and th this is the perfect way for Gmail users to just bring a CRM into the fold. If you're not familiar with the CRM, it's a customer relationship management system. And what it lets you do is basically manage the customer relationship and keep track of the communication and follow up. So, you know, I always say a good example is 
Bob, client Bob Smith? Is he a warm lead? Is he a hot lead? Is he cold? You know, what am I sending him on what basis? You know, I need to drip on him so I stay in touch. If he's a prospect, I need to upgrade him to a cold, from a cold lead maybe to a warm lead. But all that has to be managed. Every relationship you have with a client has to be managed. So a CRM certainly lets you do that. Most agents do have a CRM, most of, not to say most, but a lot of agents do use them that are specific to real estate. So whether you're using, say, Realty Juggler or Top Producer, you're using a CRM that benefits you. I wouldn't overdo it with CRMs, but certainly if you're not using one and you want to gradually move into that space and get familiar with it, Streak would probably be a good starting point. Again, it resides in your Gmail. And it did come in last place in terms of me with my seven. However, it's still a very important one for people that are, you know, using Gmail and wanting to see your MSI. But actually, it's reportive that I wanted to make my number seven. And if you're not familiar with this, this is a quick way of getting information about your contacts right within Gmail. It shows you everything about a contact right inside of your inbox. And not only that, you can connect to them on LinkedIn. So you don't have to go to LinkedIn to establish a connection. You can do it within this application. So as an example, I'm going to go to Gmail. And anyone who has me as a contact in Gmail who's using this plugin, they get information about what I do. And you will see at the bottom of my profile, there's LinkedIn, there's my title, which is my website, here's my YouTube channel, my Google Plus page. So these things are made available to your contacts. So just even if you just know that there's a plugin that allows people to get this information on you and where you are in the social space. But I like it to, you know, just be able to know what my contacts are up to. So as an example, let's find one. This is really more of my test account. But there's David, someone who who's a great uh, online marketer. But you can see that just with him sending me an email, I get his information. And of course, with LinkedIn, I can actually go ahead and connect with David on LinkedIn uh, without leaving Gmail. So this becomes a very powerful plugin as well. I highly recommend this one if you are a Gmail user and you're managing your business with Gmail. This is definitely one you want to add to the mix. I hope all these plugins have been helpful to you. And right now I'm going to open up for questions that you may have about any of the plugins that we discussed today. Now I want to thank everybody for staying for the entire webinar. And let's talk about those perks I promised earlier. The first perk is the reti.us website. And if you haven't had a chance to check it out yet, it's an amazing resource. Uh, our team has built over, gosh, I think 600 instructional videos, articles, product reviews, webinars, and more to help you learn anything you want about real estate technology, marketing, social media, and you learn at your own pace anytime. It's it's a really, really well put together site. In fact, in fact, we just completed a redesign and reorganization, which I really like. And it's really, it makes the entire site just so much easier to use and it allows users to just find content so much quicker. Uh, and just some great stuff to learn on every visit. So you can click on the free test drive button on the site to check out over 25 videos to get a feel for the site and our amazing team of instructors. And if you like what you see, you can sign up for an account and become a member of the RETI network. That's right, you get full access to the full RETI library with over 600 instructional videos and articles. In fact, I think it's time for another perk. Our usual price is $19.95 a month, but as a bonus for attending the webinar, you can use the promo code R-E-T-I-W-E-B, and you can get your first month for only $1.99, or you can opt to sign up for an entire year for 
$9.95. You can't beat that. But now, this offer is only good for those watching this webinar. So if you haven't done so yet, please check out the site and sign up today. Go to www.reti.us forward slash sign up. And if you sign up now, please let us know in the chat room. We'd love to acknowledge you and welcome you to our network. Okay, that concludes the main portion of this webinar. We're going to go ahead and open this up for questions. I'm going to turn this over to the ready instructor who is on board to answer any questions you have.